Hello and welcome to the TurboVap channel, the steam turbine channel. In today's video you will learn the basic concept and definition of what a steam turbine is. Steam turbine can be understood, understood, summarized as equipment, mechanical device, or in some literature you will even find it as an external combustion engine that has the ability to transform thermal energy from pressurized steam into mechanical work. As a steam turbine basically generates rotary motion, it has great usability in electric energy cogeneration. But we must understand, and many people are wrong, people who are not so familiar with steam turbines, that a steam turbine does not actually generate energy. So we anticipate the next issues in the next videos, but we anticipate that basic thermodynamics principle that says that no energy can be created or destroyed, it can only be transformed from one model to another model. And that is the function of the steam turbine. So the generation of energy using a steam turbine basically takes place through three previous steps, that is three basic energy conversions. The first transformation is thermal energy into kinetic energy, that is by heating fuel, in this case water, we make the first conversion of thermal energy into kinetic energy. Yeah. So with the movement of kinetic energy, we transform it into mechanical energy through the rotation of the rotor through the impulse on the blades, which we will see in the next videos. We will not go into much detail. And the third step is actually the transformation of mechanical energy into electrical energy through a generator. So the steam turbine is an energy converter. So basically every industrial process that has resulted in steam, companies install these steam turbines so that they can extract all this latent energy hidden in steam and co-generate energy either for later stages that need electricity or to supply the industrial plant or even to resell it to the secondary market, the secondary energy market. But is a steam turbine powered by steam alone? Why does steam have so much energy? To try to exemplify and demonstrate this in a rough way, let's think about the following. How much energy is needed for us to transform 1 kg of water at 100 degrees into 1 kg of steam at 100 degrees? So it would be equivalent if you think about your house, an electric toaster oven. It would take over a thousand electric toasters providing power for less than a second. A huge amount of energy. That's it guys, I hope you liked it. Deixa aí seu comentário, sua sugestão para os próximos vídeos. Um abraço e até a próxima.